Let's have a look at Delhi process flow. In this particular video, I'm going to look at the bullish side of the Delhi process flow. For the bullish side of the Delhi process flow at the after the market close, this is after the market close. I'm primarily looking at uh, four or five kind of things which I for, uh, to find uh, breakout ideas. So one of them is basically four percent breakout. The other one is dollar breakout. Then uh, low threshold breakout. So these three are the core. In addition to these three core things, 4% dollar breakout and uh, low threshold breakouts, I will also I also look at EP and I will also look at a couple of other EP scans, uh, IPO scans, China stocks, biotechnology stocks, but those are like supplemental to the three main scans which I use, which is dollar breakout 4% and uh, low threshold breakout. So basically, uh, now all almost all uh, my ideas will come from either anticipation or th these three scans and if you understand all the other things like china biotechnology ep even though i look at them separately they're all subset of these scans because uh, if there is a good breakout in china stock it should will show up in these scans or if there is a good breakout in a biotechnology stock it should uh, show up in this or if there is a good uh, ipo breakout it should show up in this okay so let's start by looking at the first thing i will be looking at is four percent breakout uh, this is four percent breakout for those who don't know what four percent breakout is go to the learning area and find out what four percent breakout is so these are 74 stocks which meet that condition uh, then there is dollar breakout and dollar breakout is my most profitable uh, for strategy it has overtaken uh, ep in terms of like uh, making more money than any other strategy over the years uh, which looks for a stock which is up 90 cents and then basically i also have a, uh, a low threshold breakout because i want to look at any stock which has momentum okay uh, momentum as defined by trend intensity of 105 so i look for low threshold breakout uh, as an addition to 4% and uh, dollar breakout for the reason that uh, a stock might be uh, having a breakout of 3.8% so it will not show up in a dollar breakout scan or, or in a 4% breakout scan because it's 3.8% but it might be a very good setup and I don't want to miss out on that similarly there might be a, a breakout which is less than 90 cents or like the other way of looking at it is any stock which has momentum above a certain level or an absolute momentum as defined by trend intensity of 105 is something which I want to have a look at it if there is an opportunity. Uh, so it involves more work but like I am a full-time trader so I don't mind doing that kind of a thing. So basically uh, there are these three scans uh, which is the primary uh, process which I do. So let's start by looking at like say uh, a working watch list so this is a working watch list there is nothing in this working watch list now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all the stocks from these three scans so that way you're not repeating the effort so I put this into bullish work and I put this 4% uh, uh, bullish into bullish work and for somebody might ask me what is low threshold breakout so low, low threshold breakout is basically something uh, like this which is like the liquidity condition uh, price has to be over 3 trend intensity has to be above 105 and the stock is up for the day and uh, the today's price percent change is greater than yesterday's price percent change and yesterday it had it was up less than 2% so basically you're looking for something uh, it's a low threshold breakout as the name suggests okay uh, so if you dump all these stocks into one watch list which is bullish working watch list this is the watch list which I would look at uh, during the day also and multiple times during the day because that's how you find a breakout before it happens uh, so this is 244 stocks today obviously like they're more bearish uh, setups today than bullish setup because the market itself was down but uh, on a regular day you will get around 400 to 500 stocks uh, probably so after that is there, I will sort it by a dollar and this dollar is basically C minus O, so close price minus opening price. So which tells you, okay, look at this particular stock, gapped up, but it spent rest of the day giving up the gains. Uh, similarly, this, so those are not stocks which I would look at seriously because if they can't go up uh, during the day, 
obviously they don't have enough momentum so so the, that way you can like prioritize okay uh, similarly so now this particular stock is something which is was up only 22 cents okay sometimes you get very good setups uh, and entries uh, this is uh, obviously this is not a good setup because it just faded after that but uh, this is the kind of setup which low threshold breakout many times can help you find uh, so now you have and I will go through this very rapidly when I do it for myself so it doesn't take me much of time in this video I'll go much slower because um, I'm trying to explain to you people otherwise like this takes me around 20 minutes at best uh, to do this so I'm looking for a particular kind of a setup which is a breakout kind of a setup okay where like the stock has is going sideways and it has a range expansion which you should all know by now if you're members of trust talk with that that's the basic setup which we look for so now all these like sometimes when i'm going through this i'll put stocks like this into the anticipation watch list also because this is a good very nice anticipation setup see first leg and it's setting up very nicely and was up only 13 cents or down uh, up only 13 cents so that's like an uh, global net lease rates uh, for you if you have seen like in the uh, recent days there are a lot of rates uh, uh, which will be there showing up in your scans uh, today because of the market being weak like uh, you will have some problem but like say this is a Tuesday morning corporation discount store now this is the first leg and down and this has a four percent record now this is uh, see th this forty four percent record also had a, a follow through and it went up eight ten percent obviously i don't trade such a low price stocks uh, but if you're looking for something like this it might be worth checking out like i wouldn't really go for something which doesn't have trend intensity but that's a four percent record okay now new york and company now here is a stock which is like a low price setup obviously it's up three days in a row so that's the negative on this or you if you take this as a low uh, range day and then this is a breakout then now this stock is up 3.81 percent so obviously it will not show up in four percent breakout but it can still be a good breakout uh, i wouldn't take that because it's up three days in a row but i'm just sh sh showing you some examples uh, now this is not necessary to do unless you're a full-time trader and you're looking for a lot many more ideas and you want to be on top of every single uh, momentum breakout or momentum stock then you do it otherwise you can just do four percent and dollar breakout I look at everything because that's my business uh, this is the only thing which I look at right see like yesterday this didn't show up in your 4% breakout scan. Why didn't it show up in a 4% breakout scan? Even though it was up 5%, right? And the stock was up 5%. If you see here, it's like up 5% on this particular day. Uh, but it won't show up in your 4% breakout. Why? Because the V by V1 condition was not met on this particular. But was this a good setup? This was a very nice setup. And stock did have a follow through. Obviously, it's a low price stock and it had a follow through. So that's the kind of objective behind going through these uh, low threshold breakout. Many times you find uh, some of the things which you uh, which would not hit your screen, etc. Now, this is a kind of stock which can be uh, like a trap kind of a thing. So many times it had a breakout but never like really followed through. So that's the negative as far as I'm concerned on this. But like it looks nice because it was like in a low range day was up only 0.1 cents and today it's up like around 34 cents and that's a breakout because breakout is any range expansion move compared to the last three or four days of move and you can get a very low risk entry on something like this i wouldn't take this for the reason which i explained that like most of the breakouts haven't had really much of a follow through like you had a range expansion here there was no follow through there was a range expansion and you just had one day and it gave up and here didn't have so that's uh, it has a track record of not following through so that's why i wouldn't take something like this otherwise if it was like an it had a track record of follow through i would have taken but like so, so that's a nice setup okay uh, what else uh, do we have uh, there are a lot of reads like as I last night in my update I put in like you know, lots of reads because the reads are all of them are like going up might be also related to uh, the uh, we are in June so there might be disc, uh, dividend declaration and people buy in anticipation of that 
so some of that rates are not very fast moving so uh, i don't really spend time on them but like cato now this is a breakout in true sense uh, low threshold breakout this is the kind of things where you can get a very good uh, uh, low risk reward kind of setups where like and you know, this is uh, up only uh, 1.83% and you can get an entry and then if it follows through so i would look at that obviously because of the market conditions and slightly depending on how the market behaves tomorrow uh, but that's a breakout which is a nice uh, thing okay um, and sometimes like uh, i had position on this one i think in a couple of days ago So this way, like in a Euro, obviously it faded. Otherwise, it was nice, and I think a lot of that fade is due to the market conditions today. Uh, but that was a nice breakout if when we bought it, like basically. Um, see now, this is a kind of thing which yesterday, but like this is a thinly traded stock. Yesterday, it traded only eighty three thousand. So that's why this is second day of breakout. So that's the negative on that. land send at some stage this land send looked very well during the day because it was near the high and i actually thought of buying this because it's got a very low float and a lot of short interest but like uh, obviously it faded later so uh, i didn't really chase it or buy it but uh, that's also like a good breakout was probably that time okay a lot of breakouts were like that and uh, today morning they looked good but they faded because the market itself sold up now here like and you know, this stock i had put it in yesterday's list if you see like the list which i posted last night of breakouts now how did i find it i found it in this low threshold breakout and it had a follow through nice follow through obviously it's a rate so rates are not going to make like an 8 to 10% or 20% move in 3 to 5 days that's not the kind of candidate uh, if you're looking for that rates are not the ideal candidate to look at mm. even this one this was on my anticipation list also and i actually had a position in the morning and then i got stopped out uh, for a profit but like this is the kind of thing which is uh, because of the market conditions today lot of breakouts happened like this otherwise this was a nice breakout uh, in the morning if you looked at it it was a, uh, i think it was up almost 2 dollars uh, in the morning it was up like around yeah 2 dollars okay and i had a very good entry on it this was also a nice breakout in the morning when i looked at it and uh, so this is like in a pull back little bit of pull back yeah, here i had looked at it yesterday also as a possible entry see this is the benefit of having like the low threshold sometimes you can find things like this because structurally stock is very strong it had this orderly pull back and uh, ready and actually this move was also like more than 5% today uh, so but obviously things faded now this is a low threshold breakout uh, see here pull back now this is the kind of point like in a 63% only it is up but like in a, in the context of where it is uh, this if we buy and if it goes up even 2 3 dollars you are looking for like only 62 dollars as your uh, 62 cents as your risk so that's why some of these are like and a nice ideas i would definitely put lows still in the watch list even home depot looked good at some stage today but like and it faded see a lot of uh, as i keep saying the same thing again and again it's because of the market conditions today so zoom in res okay think this year like and it gapped up on the earnings and then faded so but looks like a nice setup here uh and the thing is like this little bit it's up four five days in a row so that's the negative now this is again a rate okay that's why it was not a very fast moving but like this is a nice setup okay very nice setup if you are into rates kind of plays so now we are entering a dollar breakout territory because this is all was like an up to 89 cents up to 90 cents you are entering dollar breakout and there can be some dollar breakout which can be 4% also and then when we look at like now this dine brands global is like an this is a nice breakout right and it's up 1.94 from a small bull flag uh, so that's a thing which looks good mm.
even this one in a better market condition i would have looked at that but like i'm not saying the market conditions are bad it's just that the market was overextended so you had a checkout kind of a move we'll see where how it uh, plays out after that Now, again, like another reason why uh, you need to look at like low threshold is I saw this yesterday. I didn't really take it, uh, but like you know, it was here. Uh, it was up only 120 and I said like, you know, this is a small bull flag. Looks like if I'd taken that was five. Obviously, I didn't take it, but polarity cool. Something like this, I would put it in a bearish watch list. That's like an you know, a can f tomorrow it can fade because uh, that's like a abandoned baby okay. so again like live storage if you see like here this was a dollar breakout uh, yesterday a lot of reads so there's like uh, so many reads yesterday even extra space storage Pinnacle Foods again stock was up a lot and uh, at one stage and was near the high and after that it went up and but like an effort did uh, which is big due to the market today anything which is up three days in a row is not something which I'm going to touch okay that's the fundamental rule of uh, Swing trading. Look, you find the first day of the move. This is like an. It faded a little bit. This is a nice setup. Uh, it was also possibly an anticipation setup, but that's like an a nice little setup. And this also looked nice at some stage. It was near the high, and I'd seriously considered buying it because the float is only 3.4 million, but. Uh, the market conditions were not really like uh, didn't I say today that you can I look at the uh, defense uh, related uh, companies and this is an example of reversal on that like I think Lockheed Martin might be similar or many of them but not that I have a position in any one of them okay this we had a position I sold now this looks like a nice breakout after this pullback okay so that's not a bad setup and plus understand you look many of these setups you'll find very early if you do this during the day uh, especially if you can do this during the day early now again a rate which had a good follow through high price rate uh, i might uh, like in a high price rate i'll always look at like this is a earnings breakout uh, i didn't really take it today morning because i saw a lot of activity uh, in retrospect it could have worked like in a, if i had bought it in the morning but uh, i looked at like the uh, just because it is up on earnings doesn't mean that it is a good uh, candidate in terms of like say if you look at this Dart restaurant it's only 18% and 10% for that kind of a stock it might be a big thing but like an, not something which I would look at as an EP just like an, it had a big move I would watch it uh, uh, means I don't have to do anything to watch it specifically because it will be uh, it has already met the TI condition so if it goes sideways like this and sets up then we'll play it for a swing but like uh, yes probably this was a setup which could have worked I saw early it was one of the first talk to show up on the scans today morning but I did take it okay. look so at some stage also look so was like near the high looked like a good five six dollars seven dollars it was up uh, faded uh, if it had closed that would have been good uh, this is a very choppy stock like uh, big tail so uh, up and down like and I think probably if you look at the total range uh, see it's $40 to $59 so that's like in a $20 range so this is the kind of stocks where you can like in a go on five minutes and uh, make money uh, here like and it went up like very rapidly and then uh, it faded and this was five dollars move or six dollars move but you need to be very nimble for that not everybody is up to that game uh, 
uh, many of you are struggling to make money using the TI scan which I shared so don't try this uh, Equinox uh, stock is up three days in a row so essentially after going through this there's nothing which like and if there was something I would already entered but like and I'm just showing you some of this stuff uh, and because of the market condition but like uh, lows looks good Able broke as a rate uh, Dine brands uh, fossil and enter so those are the things which look good this looks very attractive like at now what I will do is like uh, I'll draw, dump them into one uh, all the flagged ones uh, here momentum burst okay so copy flag to momentum burst now I did this video, it took me 20 minutes to do it, uh, there are less number of stocks but if, even if there are two times, three times this number of stocks, it still takes me around half an hour to do this on a good day, okay. Now so we uh, clear all flags, now this is the main process which I would use to find uh, bullish stock and because 95% of the capital is on the long side, that's the main stay, okay. Now in addition to this, I will look at EP. Uh, and the EP scan, this is a combination EP scan which looks for a stock up 4% on a, a average volume and uh, volume about 300,000. Uh, so I would look at these, uh, basically there are a lot of these down um, stocks which were like basically up today uh, and if you look at the, the one which are like and I say up only uh, Darden restaurant, this is a, uh, breakout uh, earnings breakout but as you saw the earnings is nothing to write about rhythm pharmaceuticals obviously when it's a biotechnology they don't move based on um, earnings so there must be some news catalyst so always look at news catalyst and you don't have to have fancy things like uh, market smith to do EP okay uh, if you don't have a market smith you can still do EP uh, so rhythm, rhythm is like an RYTM if you see. I find most of my news on Finwheels, it's free site. Uh, you can find uh, yeah, we, uh, proposed pro offering, something to do with offering. There's no specific news related to this, so it's an offering related uh, thing. But like an, not a setup which I'm going to go and buy at this stage. Uh, I will ability communication always uh, something like this I first check the news because um, that tells you a lot you don't have to really look at earnings on things which are like being so neglected uh, if I can't find something you always can look at like an a to see if there is any uh, good story on it in earnings terms so here there is 101 but that's a one cent and stock is going to make be making losses here uh, there are no funds here so it's not something which I would get excited about um, TSG it's already up two days in a row it's not really a EP kind of a breakout these are not all EP kind of breakouts currently uh, biotechnology stock globant OBSV uh, HRTX so there is a news here I have seen this in the morning itself it was because it was gapping up again related to uh, some drug uh, trial news uh, so you will see that on high hopes for a post surgery pre treatment so these are like and I basically I would wait for them to pull back or form some sort of a uh, anticipation setup and look at them uh, as in a biotechnology stock, uh, this is being bought over. So when I see something being bought over, like uh, the easiest thing to do is to put a note so that you don't like and okay, waste your time on looking at it for anticipation. Uh, this is gapping down, FS. Again, if you know drug specialty generic, it means like there'll be some, there is a reverse split on this one, float is 3.5 million. These are the kind of things which like an after reverse split can make big moves, uh, but not no specific catalyst I think is there. Dry ship was also up, which is a stock which from time to time makes big moves. Uh, khaki, you know, khaki I will have to look at, like I don't remember having looked at it during the day. So I might look at it, but I know for a fact that khaki will not be a 
earnings because most of the stocks, if you have been around in the market for many years, uh, uh, you know most of them. Like I know okay, this is some sort of uh, government contractor for information technology. So obviously, it's not going to have a triple digit earnings. Uh, so it's got a new contract, 50 billion multiple award contract by General Service Administration. Yeah, it's not something which I think is a game changer because volume. Look at it was only 413,000. So. Yeah, nice to know, but not my time, worth my time. It's a biotechnology stocks. Uh, Barnes & Noble, you know, it's a doomed company. From time to time, it makes big moves, but like it can't be just on earnings. It will be some going private, some shit like that, okay? Kroger uh, had a earnings breakout again, like, and, and then it was gapping up. If something is gapping up, I would have looked at it in the morning itself, and I would have looked at the earnings. So if you see 26% and 3%, like I wouldn't look at anything like that remotely uh, to get excited about. Uh, so that's as far as this is concerned. And now, uh, as I said, like my main process is that three scan, but I also look for like, and I have a lot of capital and I have lots of money to uh, invest. So I look for something which is like uh, some kind of a stock which is where I can take a big position and which is more stable and which has like an, a uh, really huge volume where uh, you can buy uh, lots of stock. So I look for something which is a, uh, which I call the EP 10 million. That is basically a stock which is a 10 million or 9 million to be exact or to be exact 8.9 million plus volume on the breakout day uh, and a valid setup also. So if you look at this, this I look for long term accounts like to give you an idea of like say uh, the kind of position uh, which uh, I will pick up based on this is like I had VRX from this which I had picked up from this particular day here like say 17 million and I sold it recently not on this gap down before that gap down also only I sold it or um, I think I also have have the position based on this. See, 23 million breakout. Okay, so I have a position which with a very close top, so it might get uh, hit. I also had some positions which got stopped out many days ago, but like say Halliburton, I found on this 10.3 million. So that's the kind of trade which I'm looking for, where I can like and I put in and it can hold it for a couple of weeks, two months. Slam a slum merger, I had like and from the same scan here, I bought it and I sold it sometime here. Um, I also had XOP from that particular scan. See here, 23 million, and then I sold it. So. It's basically for finding those kind of things which I look for this. So, uh, and I would like if I find something in this, I'm not just going to be blindly buying. So obviously, like, and this has nine million share, but I'm not going to be buying something like this in uh, the longer term IRA accounts and things like that. No, biotechnology stock unless it has a billion dollar plus kind of a sales. So I go through this and I look at them. Uh, Hanson Brand. Uh, this is the kind of stock if, if this didn't have a 9 million kind of breakout here uh, it had only 4.1 million but this is the kind of stock which i would normally look for more stable i know to look at an underwear company so it's not like an sx it doesn't have like technology kind of uh, volatility so that's what what i use uh, snap uh, uh, this i didn't have a position but uh, uh, in that account but i did look at this and i did swing trade around this now Citibank, I had looked at it here and I thought it was a good uh, thing I didn't buy it. So, but like I do have a position in Wells Fargo, which has been there for a long time. Uh, JP Morgan, I'm just looking at these today and uh, like say if there was a breakout like this, I would have bought and I would have bought hands or fist in the sense like I would have bought anywhere between uh, 5,000, 10,000 to even up to 20,000 based on how the what the stock is uh, because something like JP Morgan trades, uh, it's a fairly stable stock. So you can take those kind of things and you can hold it for some time. But I'm not looking for holding for years and all. I'm looking for like I have a Wells Fargo position, as I said, uh, which I picked up here and I still have it. Uh, I didn't like any close it when it gapped down and all. I still have it. Okay. Uh, so I just look at this uh, today. I looked at it. Now I see this as like a possible 
reversal candidate but like and again see here uh, this was like 6 million only so i'm looking for if it reverses and if there is 10 million plus i might look at something like that this is more for people who are looking for longer term positions uh, slower moving okay in some very stable kind of thing see here like and uh, this was 30 million and this is a company which is like and uh, has some revenue or not so it's not really just plain speculative but um, there was one which I had pointed out some time ago basically the um, this I had a position in on the short side big position which I closed today uh, fairly large position because again 18 million share traded 18 million so you can short 5,000 6,000 shares uh, and make money I had 5,000 shares shorted here on this day and two dollars move uh, on 5,000 was not bad and it started reversing so it got stopped out uh, similarly G now this is a potentially like if it turns I would look at something like this 70 million but that's not really my bread and butter play that's more like in a longer term accounts where um, you're not really like Syria which I had pointed out some time ago see here I said it's not very fast moving I had position here 25 million share record that's the kind of things which you want to look at and Siri is like you know, something which actually has revenue and all it's not a speculative biotechnology and 25 million so and it did make a move of around 16 17 not a very fast move but uh, you can put it and forget about it for a couple of weeks and then keep moving the stop that's the idea and I also find some shorts ideas where I want to take a large position on a short side uh, in this uh, I look at this today you have 117 many days you will have less than 117 in this uh, but uh, see Teva uh, on a short side also you can like and you know, find something uh, using this for large position this is primarily when you want to take like in a large position like say Halliburton short here like was 12 million so you can short a lot more uh, you can short 5,000 shares of Halliburton and or at and it doesn't matter uh, because it's not very liquid I think and I, I would look at this as possible short as a I wouldn't take a 5,000 shares position on this because I don't see that setup as a very valid short setup but like uh, just so this is more like for finding longer term kind of uh, plays uh, longer term means like an, I define longer term as something which is months not years okay uh, this AMD now again if you look at AMD okay this particular buy breakout was 47 million shares on this particular uh, day of breakout 47 million shares and it did make a move so this can does find you some like an, some of those kind of moves um, it's basically breakout scan only Facebook I don't have position uh, in it Microsoft so go now some of these are like and even Twitter if you look at it on this breakout day was 29 million shares and it did make a 36 percent move so so you can build large positions if you have a large account eBay I would consider this as a short but I wouldn't take a crazy position always on a short uh, I can take crazy positions but like the amount of capital on short side which I trade is around 300,000 uh, or close to around 350-370 while on the long side is several times that uh, Starbucks now I said here 62 million like this was a 62 million breakdown okay now uh, this is something which uh, is a break breakdown this is something which is probably change of character or whatever you want to call it like in terms of uh, complete uh, this thing uh, so Starbucks is on my uh, like and uh, I would watch this uh, because if you see here like and uh, this is a big breakdown which has happened uh, even on weekly or even if you look at monthly uh, but uh, so, so let's see if it sets up uh, missed this uh, thing uh, yesterday uh, should I short it but like and uh, a hindsight is 2020 uh, but that's a 62 million breakdown okay and today again 30 million so around 90 million but it's got a 1.4 billion uh, float so that's like an in context it's not but uh, now square okay square is something which is like basically 
And one of the things about this dollar breakout, the 9 million plus breakout is like, if you see this particular breakout was 43 million breakout here. Okay, this was like an, a 43 million shares were traded on this breakout. And till that time it was trading less than like in you know, most of the time trading uh, around four or five million. So that was how you can find big breakouts also on that. And uh, you can create a scan which looks for 10 million kind of breakouts in the last 40 days and wait for them to set up. If you're looking for Apple, obviously is a large stock, Q, Billy, uh, this is 10 million, but it's been traded 10 million a couple of times here also it traded 10 million. This was like an, a 10.7 million the day I put it this in note. Um, TQQ is 12 million today. Uh, Intel 44 million, Baba, IQ. Okay, this traded 57 million, but it has traded 58 million here and it has traded 62 million here. So uh, obviously this was something which I traded during the day, intraday, but uh, I don't have a position as of close. Netflix is 18 million, but uh, those are the kind of stocks which you will find in this, like say here, this was 6.7 million, this was 10 million breakout, this was 18 million breakout. So those are the kind of things which you want to look at. Uh, Nvidia is 9 million down uh, so that's like you can find some ideas basically this is more for like in a longer term uh, of weeks to months okay so that's uh, as far as this is concerned and because i said you can create a scan i would just want to quickly one second show you a scan which you can create something like this uh, which is us common stock etf uh, which actually you don't need etf for this but anyway so this looks for a stock which in last 40 days had a 10 million plus kind of a breakout. So it's a 9.9 .9 million, okay? Um, so basically you're looking for a stock which in 40 days had a 9.9 .9 million breakout and then goes sideways and sets up. So uh, to give you an idea of what this will look like is say, uh, let's look at like say Lulu. Okay, this was a uh, 40 million breakout and then it set up nicely. And this is where I took a position. Obviously, we sold it because of the market weakness or to take a profit. Uh, but uh, there's another one which I'm monitoring now. Restoration hold. Oh, see, 14 million breakout, okay? Earnings was good on this one. Uh, obviously, this actually was up $2, so, but like an, I'm waiting for it to set up and break out uh, for entry. So you can find stocks like this. Uh, using this scan so but the main process is the three things which I showed uh, there are other things which I look at I look at IPO breakout in order to do IPO breakout you have to create an IPO list which I have showed I have done videos on how to do it and then I just look for anything which is up in IPO list I don't really care whether it is up 4% or not I just like and I look at everything in an IPO which means liquidity condition and which is up and then that's where you can find a lot more ideas because sometimes like you know, they don't have necessarily the 4% the breakout or things like that, but they're still nice setups. So I just look for IPOs. Uh, obviously the IPOs tends to be much more volatile compared to other stocks. So uh, I don't really take big positions in IPOs unless it's a very liquid IPO like in a spot, uh, which I carried a position today and so uh, from yesterday and sold today. Uh, but that's a very rarity where you have very liquid kind of a thing. But uh, even this Kuro was an IPO also uh, spot like uh, obviously I had a position and it gapped, uh, went up and then uh, started going down. So it got stopped out $5 or $6 I think uh, I made on that particular trade. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that's the IPO scan which I use. Uh, nothing special about it. It just like and it just looks for anything which is up. Uh, but there is a liquidity condition. So because of liquidity condition, unless the IPO trades for three days, you're not going to find it. And IPO list you can create using the videos which I posted multiple times to find out how you can find IPOs in Telechart. So that's the process flow as far as the long side is concerned. Uh, and then the short side process flow is similar to this. Obviously, I don't spend as much time on the short side because there are not many shorts candidate during the, uh, most of the days. And also because of the limitation in terms of how much capital I allocate on the short side. Short side is around 350, 370 and long side is millions. Okay, so that's the way. 
the process flow works and this is the same process flow i will run multiple times during the day on the long side especially on the long side uh, on the short side like most of the time uh, today is a rare day where you have like an a 610 stocks but i only look at dollar break, breakouts breakdowns for short side because i find enough candidates in dollar breakdowns and 10 million uh, ep scan for most of my shorts i don't even look at four percent breakdown or things like that uh, most of the time uh, but like uh, today is a rare day where you have 610 most of the days this will be less than 100 so it doesn't take more than five minutes to do that process flow obviously today lot many stocks are there and i would after this video i would go through everything in the short side also and look at some uh, uh, short setup also uh, primarily uh, but 99 percent of the money uh, is on the long side for me because of the way the account is or the accounts are not much capital to trade on short side much more several million to trade on the long side basically